Well, if you're at Spring Valley in Minnesota, it's still Friday the 23rd of February and it's 9.50 p.m. But if you're at Spring Valley in New South Wales where I live, it is 2.50 p.m. on Saturday the 24th of February 2018. And we are 13 days away from Friday the 9th of March. And Friday the 9th of March is the date of the prophecy of Jacob Wetzling and Nathan Breeze. And it's a weather related prophecy unless it's volcano related one or the other and that's the current weather situation over Australia I think there's just a little bit of rain coming my way as I'm speaking Canberra can I bring up the radar yeah a few storms starting to pop up to the west of where I live which is near Michalago and if we look at the weather here, the warnings for, let's go just ACT. I live in New South Wales, but actually we'll look at New South Wales. Because I am in New South Wales. And yes, you can see there are some warnings. Including a severe weather warning for parts of the Snowy Mountains Forecast District. And that is for strong winds today. As you can see, this was issued at 10 a.m. So gusty winds early Saturday. Up to, I think, 70, 80 kilometers an hour. Above 1,600 meters. So not an extreme weather warning, but a little weather warning for the alpine areas because it's a bit windy today. So, yeah, thought I might go outside and see what's happening. There's less bananas than yesterday, and it's more windy, as you'd expect. There you go. A bit of wind, and the clouds today are moving a bit faster than they were yesterday, thanks to the wind. And yeah, the 24th of February, Saturday the 24th of February, kind of a coincidental day in a way, because Nathan Breeze, Nathan Breeze, 13 year old boy who died in the Black Saturday bushfires on Saturday the 7th of February 2009, well today is Saturday the 24th and Nathan was born on the 24th. He was actually born on a Friday, the 24th of November, 1995. And I found that out on Friday the 22nd of December last year. And we are 13 days away from Friday the 9th of March. Like I said, could that be a happy dog? Like I said, yeah, we're 13 days away from Friday the 9th of March, which is when I, the prophecy is of Jacob and Nathan. And Jacob was 11, Nathan 13. 11 plus 13 is 24. Today's date and Nathan's date of birth. Nathan was 13 and we are 13 days away from Friday the 9th of March and Nathan was born on a Friday. The first tropical cyclone in Australian waters this year was named Dahlia. Dahlia, pronounced Dahlia. This is the flower Dahlia. Same spelling, D-A-H-L-I-A. -A. And that was named by Indonesia at the same time that Mount Agung was erupting in Bali. So the Indonesian Weather Service named Dahlia because it formed just below Java 
in Indonesia and it was the first cyclone to come into Australian waters this year it was Dahlia. Since then we've had Hilda. Hilda affected the Kimberley and Pilbara coast, mainly the Kimberley coast around Broome. We also had Irving. Irving the Sneaky Boy formed out near Cocos Island, out in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And the people at the Weather Channel in Australia, the Sky News Weather Channel, didn't know that Irving had been and gone. And he was a very sneaky boy because not only... He lasted actually a few days and went Category 3. So he, technically he was a major or a severe tropical cyclone. And yet he went undetected by nearly everyone. So very sneaky boy, Irving. Then Joyce. Joyce also affected the Kimberley coast of Western Australia. And then Kelvin formed on Jake's birthday, Saturday the 17th of February 2018. Jake also was born on a Friday, but this year his birthday falls on a Saturday, same as Nathan's. And like I said, 11 and 13, the age of Jake and the age of Nathan gives you Nathan's date of birth, the 24th. And yeah, Kelvin, Cyclone Kelvin, coincided, ended up being a Category 2. As it made landfall, it became a Category 2 during landfall, which is unusual. And it formed on Jake's birthday, Saturday, 17th of February, and made landfall when it was still Jake's birthday in Minnesota. Because Minnesota is 17 hours behind New South Wales in Australia. So the next cyclone is going to be named Linda. Linda has this, if you add up the letters in the name Linda, they add up to 40. And 40 is the value of the word pain. And it's also the value of the word oi. And pain and oi are both words that relate strongly to the Dark Tower by Stephen King. Now like I said, the first cyclone was Dahlia, named by the Indonesian Weather Service. And Dahlia was at the same time, formed at the same time that Mount Agung was erupting. The keystone number in the Dark Tower is 19. Monday the 19th of February coincided or was the date of the eruption, a major eruption of Mount Sinai. So that was 18 days before Friday the 9th of March 2018. So, volcanoes and cyclones. Linda, the same value as Oi and Pain. Oi was the name of the Billy Bumbler that Jake became good buddies with in the Dark Tower story. Oi, half dog, half raccoon kind of animal. Jake tried to name him Boy, but he repeated Oi. No B in the... couldn't pronounce the B, so Jake just went with Oi. And it stuck. Boy became the Billy Bumbler's name. Now Jake Wetzling, Jake Chambers in the Dark Tower died aged 11 at the start, well, you know. If you've uh, read the story, it's a little more complicated than that.
but Jacob Westling died aged 11. 11 years and 8 months. And Jake had a pet dog. He had a pet dog named Marcus, who he named after a football player. And Marcus, Linda and Marcus are the next two names. We are 13 days away from Friday the 9th of March 2018. And Nathan is 13. Nathan is the boy who Jake Wetterling has connected with in the underworld because they have very similar personalities and characteristics and traits. So that's Nathan Breeze and Marcus, Jake's dog. So from all that, you may be able to work out the prophecy of the two angelic boys for yourself. Thirteen days.